On June 6, 1944, 14,000 Canadian soldiers joined a massive Allied force in Normandy, France to fight for freedom. During the Battle of Normandy, 5,500 Canadians would lose their lives. In June of 2019, members of the Métis National Council and the Manitoba Métis Federation gathered at Juneau Beach with leaders from around the world to mark the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Uh, very touching and heartwarming in the sense of this trip. It is our 75th anniversary uh, of the Battle of 1944 that took place in Juneau Beach in Normandy and uh, this is where liberation took place and where the Métis Nation actually was a big contributor in that. I stand here knowing that I can never fully understand what our brave men and women in uniform experienced and will never forget. Only those who threw themselves against the walls of the fortress of Europe in Normandy know the full extent of what unfolded here 75 years ago. On the battlefields of Normandy, Francophones, Anglophones, Indigenous peoples, new Canadians came together as one. To all of our Métis Nation citizens and our gov Métis governments, uh, I want to say how proud I am to represent each and every one of you and proud to represent all those that lay here today, all our Métis veterans and all Canadian soldiers that lay in these uh, grave sites. Uh, thank them for our freedom we enjoy today. The commemoration had special meaning for Métis National Council Senior Policy Advisor Mark LeClaire, who made his fourth visit to the grave of his grandfather. Here lies John Henry Janai of Shortdale, Ontario, my grandfather, and uh, was killed in action here, not too far from here. It's always a bit hard. But if he didn't serve, we wouldn't have the freedom we enjoy today. So it's always nice to come and pay a visit. MMF President David Chartrand has been advocating for the rights of Métis veterans for over two decades. I've been leading the, the charge for 20 years, uh, trying to get justice. Uh, what, what had taken place back when they all volunteered to come out here? Canada promised every uh, soldier leaving, if you come home, we'll give you a head start back in life and you can readjust and reorganize your life again if you survive. And uh, that did not happen for the Métis. In fact, the Métis were told, go back to your trap lines, you know, thank you very much, goodbye. And that's not what Canada promised. Phil Baudin is a Métis elder from St. Eustache, Manitoba. Many young Métis men left St. Eustache to fight in World War II with the promise of assistance when they returned home, a promise that was not kept. First of all, an injustice was done. This was supposed to be a... a you know, for all the veterans that came back and why the Métis veterans were excluded, uh, you know, is hard to understand. When MMF President David Chartrand visited St. Eustache, he was so moved by the photos of veterans displayed in Cartier Hall that he initiated a plan to install a permanent monument. The monument displays the names of over 450 Métis and local veterans who served in Canada's military. When he came up with the idea um, a couple years ago to put the monument in Senestache, it was like the, the best thing ever. And, and it's like, to me, that's what I call the Monument Park. It's just, it's just a very, very, very beautiful place. Recently, the federal government offered a formal apology while designating $30 million to distribute as compensation. We regret that our country has taken three quarters of a century to address the concerns of Métis veterans who joined Canada's call to arms during the Second World War. This is only not good for Métis veterans, it's a good message for all veterans, that we should never leave our veterans behind, we should never ask them to go sacrifice their life and not be there to help them. David Chartrand has traveled to the homes and communities of surviving Métis veterans to thank them for their service and deliver a compensation check worth $20,000. Thanks very much, gentlemen, to present me with this big tent. 20000 This 20000 20000 Not ten. Twenty. Oh! Now it's even better! <laughs> From our Métis Nation, I want to say thank you to Norman. Uh, you know, in 1944, he put up his name, willing to go overseas, willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice if necessary. I want to thank everyone that had ever been, and thank the Métis Nation for me being born a Métis man. Right on. Thank, right on. You. thank you. Thank you very much.
on behalf of the Métis Nation, we want to thank you. On behalf of the Prime Minister, I want to thank you. On behalf of Canada, and here's a check I hope will give you some satisfaction that we didn't forget. I want to, I want to tell you I'm coming here to give you a check. It'll be a check for $20,000 that is yours. We don't want anything more than any other veteran got. And that's what this is. And this is great making this reconciliation and being able to be here for uh, my Ontario uh, World War II veterans is just uh, the most uh, gratifying thing that I can think of. So we're going to give you a check today of $20,000 to say thank you for joining the ar military, joining the army to fight for peace in the world. When I can see a grown man cry in front of me that they broke him in this country, that's why. You're willing to sacrifice your life yeah. to fight and defend our country and somebody else. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor yeah. that people should have for our veterans here in this country. You change people's lives, you change their, their, their minds, their hearts, and it resonates to the rest of the family. So it's something that drives me to, if you can correct somebody's wrong or fix somebody's wrong and make it right, it's, it's something that you, you can't buy that. You can't, there's no money that can actually replace that. It, it's, a, it's here and here. Have to smile. Smile, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, that's a nice big smile. <laughs> <laughs> With this decision now by Trudeau and reconciliation that the Indigenous people are going to matter and the veterans are going to matter, uh, it, it, it was such a a good feeling myself as a leader to have that finally there's somebody going to listen to us and do the right thing. Yeah. So, so now that there's $30 million in the bank, there'll be many, many families uh, feeling nice. some, some nice. retribution for, for so long, you know.